Hi guys, it's me, Joseph Boomstein again, and for this video that will be dedicated to the Asian History Month of 2024, I will now open up by talking about the one song that I'm sure that is the bane of every Asian girl's existence. Teriyaki Boys' song Tokyo Drift. Probably, probably, they probably got the name from the movie where it debuted in. It's the, like the theme song for the movie itself. Now, <clears throat> I love this movie because it features Japan. Okay? Now, before I get into the actual lyrics of it, I should point out that um, this, um, this music video, <clears throat> this music video, features the the clips from the actual movie that involves the death of Khan and, and the rise of um, L Lucas, yeah, Luke, Lucas Black character, and um, it involves racing and the drifting and sinking stuff of the of the enemy cars and stuff. But also, very importantly, it involves um, <clears throat> a very interesting tribute that I don't know if you guys are noticed it or not, but in the, in the parking garage that they practiced the, the drifting in, they featured a car in it that's like a model that's Identical, the one that you that speech in um, Initial D, another show about uh, drifting cars, but an, an anime. So I don't know whether that was a um, a fluke or they purposely did that to uh, entice us to watch the movie more, you know, like an Easter egg type of thing. Anyway, what it was pretty good. It was only on screen for like two seconds, but I still know it well enough. So anyway, this movie is, um, well, this song is very good. Because it's got a very good uh, beat to it. That ding, 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 ding. I think it was made by like a, like a major gong or something. Or maybe a chime or something. But one thing is, that you know, first noticed about the song is the lead that sings the song. Boy, they can certainly hit the high notes. They can them so high and so long that it almost gives you a headache if you listen to it much, much. And yeah, I, I know, I know, come from me, that says a lot. But, um,. Yeah, I, I let's do it to so that again. I am guilty of that. Sorry. But what, what, what I know is that whenever I put the phone over on the side, on the far end of one of the rooms over there, 360 room, and then go over to the other side of the room to get my weight and stuff, it's sort of to turn for quite a distance. And thanks to no one, thanks, uh, not in a small part, because of the women's lyricists in the movie, in the song, I mean, <clears throat> that they can definitely get the difficult lungs for it. Yeah. I don't know whether they did that on purpose, or whether it's um, a joke or anything like that, or maybe it could be the similarly an orgasm noise for all I care, for all I know. Because they do like, oh, you know, they do like that type of thing. And it kind of distracts you a little bit. Kind of like your eardrums want to blow out. Blow out. I mean, I, I should really talk because I can't see my life, but still, you know, they, they are, they're really high up there. And um, also, the same matter is that they also 
I speak in Japanese. Well, I'm assuming it's Japanese because it's called Tokyo Drift and it is, it is supposed to be set in Japan. So, um, <clears throat> there's that little assumption. But I like when in in particular, which is a callback to the Wizard of Oz. And you might be asking yourself, how would the world can a, can a movie do the drifting cars in the streets of Japan, in the hills of Japan, have anything to do with the classic iconic movie as a fantasy set made in 1939? Well, let me let me let you know people about it. The the, the men the men folk in the, in this movie is think about um. <clears throat> Lions, tigers, tigers, bears, on my ride, like fears to death, like J.J. Fatten, Fatten, I don't know who J.J. Fatten is, but it's very smooth. And this entire song reminds me of a Japanese take on rap music, because it's, it's very smooth, very, um, very, um, it's got rap type sound to it, sometimes I which kind of goes along with that, with the whole, um, with the whole, uh, stick of, um, the Fast and Furious movie being, like, hip and down with what the kids are learning nowadays. And I heard that they use the word gaijin whenever they go into the Japanese. Spiel the full, the full Japanese uh, language in there, which is a nice touch, by the way. But, um, I don't know if that word should really be used in this song because it's kind of like one of the iffy words that's kind of like a curse word in the right context, kind of like the word damn or hell. Like, if you say that's the hell, the hell. What the hell of a, of a muscular, muscular rack are you? you no, that, that, it's not a curse, but if you say go to hell, you so and so and so, then, then it's kind of like a curse word. The same with damn, it's someone to damn it, or you goddamn son of a bitch, go to hell. Then, then it's a curse. But the one talking about it, it's Gaijin. Which is um, a word that means foreigner in Japanese. <clears throat> and normally, it is that, you know, this person, like me, I'm a gaijin in, in Japan. You know, because I'm a foreigner from J going to Japan. Whereas, they could, they could easily use it in a nasty context, like a Get out of here, you fucked guy, guy again. You know, get out of here, you fucked the corner. You rat, you rat bastard. You don't belong with uh, high culture people and stuff. So this, that. Plus, um, I like it when both of the, of the people, the men and the women in the song team, they go into, uh, Broken English. And I, lo I love that about uh, people. I love when uh, they go into uh, broken English and full on uh, their own language. I, I love it. G gave me a little bit of you know, especially because um, they talk about money a lot, which, given the subject matter of um, underground racers, I could see how that could be a, um, a turn on, you know, money, diamond furs, all that stuff. But there's also another point that I want to bring up about when the guys make their little speech in the, in the song. And that being the fact that they um, <clears throat> refer to Chinamen and China, that I'm not a Chinaman, you know, um, 
And don't assume that I'm a champion, but I'm a proud Japanese warrior. Now, they say I'm not a champion, which you, know, you think is real, is like a, a play, a, a word type of thing. You know, haha, people think you're a chain man because you, you, you like skin, you get like a chain man, or vice versa. That they think the Chinese people look like Japanese people because they're light skinned. Okay, that's a, that's a kind of fair, funny argument to make. But then, when you think about it, when you know the history, <coughs> the history of um, Chinese and Japanese relations, not even with the whole Taiwan business thrown in there, it's quite, it's quite ugly and quite unforgiving, actually. Because, well, if I give you the, the quick and dirty version of that, of that let me just say that one time I did make the mistake of referring to a Chinese girl as a Japanese girl by mistake. And boy, how I, I won't make that mistake ever again because she, the Chinese person, said all kinds of nasty, horrible, horrid things about the Japanese people. They wished it. She wished they would all die, she wished they were all hanged, starved, raped, whatever else you could think of. The very, very bad stuff. So is it then like that? Why do you feel this way? You know, just why do you, why do you feel like that? You know, what did Japanese do to you that, that made you feel this way? She said something like that. Oh, what have they done to me? You know, because if you, if you if you remember if you read your history books were done the day with the little event called the Rape of Nanking by which when Japanese people invaded China they um they pillaged the the villages, the cities over there in China. They raped Women on mass, little girls too, and they they um, destroyed property, kill kill babies, you know, like like um biblical stuff here, with no uh, remorse for them whatsoever. So the Japanese were definitely on the bad side of this, that they called the all, but evading into China and whatever treasure and booty that they got from China they never returned. So there's quite a bit of um bad, bad blood between them. Not, not, not even bad blood, bad blood like a silly phrase that you use like oh ha ha they got bad blood to against each other. I mean they the Chinese Want the Japanese dead, that all together dead. I'm sure that when we dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that Chinese people everywhere across China, mainland China, were like, "Yeah, yeah, you kick their ass, you, you bomb the shit out of them, avenge our people and our women." So yeah, um. When he said, when he said the line in there, he says, uh, you know, I'm not from China, China, I'm not China man, he got on me. <clears throat> I'm not from, I, I ain't a China man, because I mean, I'm not from China man. And that it was like, kind of cool. Now, the, the women sitting in the background, hey, hey, um, I wonder where you get that kind of money. In, in, in a Japanese accent, of course. So, um, yeah, I would say that for 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 one one of the songs of this movie, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. But I'm sure that every if you talk to any real Japanese person, 
but but some would change person for that matter would Korean for that but on top of that I'm sure they probably want to probably bring that with a with pistol because it's just so annoying so screechy so derogatory so derogatory toward them I'm sure they probably want to kill you <laughs> I mean I like the fun you know and some People might find it annoying, but eh, whatever. I, I, I like it. I didn't like it. That's with the whole uh, beat. The, no beat. The, the fact that I like, I like the actual movie itself. It's my favorite of the franchise. So yeah, I, I definitely would do enjoy it. I recommend if anyone can watch it. The video's always like maybe five minutes long, so it's not that big of a deal to watch. Plus, they put it to a, they put that music to a, a very famous uh, anime movie, which I love, by the way, called R Red Line, which I will be covering eventually too in my birthday month thing they do. No, um, I gotta say that. I think, I think I like the girls. Well, the girls in the song, in the song, you know, when they hit the high notes, when they hit the high notes, like, I, I, can't, I can't do it justice. But when they do the high notes, I like them for the funny value of it. But I like the. I like that part where the guys are singing. Cause I like the lyrics. And I like the the random spells of Japanese. And it's really quite fun. <coughs> Super song like JG Fatten. Who the hell is JG Fatten? I don't the fuck what they say. Let's go. I mean, let's, let's put it into hyperdrive with the boost and knots and stuff. That's very quite, quite cool. Anyway, I, I definitely enjoyed that song. <sighs> Especially for the, the novelty of it. Oh, it's, it's great. It's very groovy. So, I thank you for watching my video on Teriyaki Boys with, with, with Z because these are important. The spelling makes the core. Togo Drift for Asian History Month 2024. <laughs> it, it's definitely a it's definitely a memorable song because it's um very uh very peachy. I know they did that on purpose to try to emulate the whole um, sexual aspect of the high notes during sex and stuff. Or maybe they did it where they did like that, like that to invoke the like, uh, stereotypical Japanese rant you know, yelling at somebody. I like, I don't really like the guys or the girls but when they go to their Japanese rant. I love it when people go into their rant in their own language really fast, like Rick and Ricard used to do. Like they, like these people used to do. I also find it interesting that in the same song that they reference, Wizards of Oz, but also read the the Rape of Nay King. Yeah, a very dark part of Chinese history and Japanese history too. And a fantasy book. <clears throat> and I also love the fact that they have clips on the movie, including that part where they, they rush through and read through that. Perfectly separated, like Moses, 
to create waves in the Shibuza um, Square in, in Tokyo. We all know what, what it is. I, I, just, I know I put you up to the language a little bit, but still. It was one of the busiest cross in, in the world. You know, for that kind of thing. And then they had the weaving and the uh, traffic and stuff. We did that the whole at the end. By the way, I should point out that uh, that, scene, that scene in the movie where they do that. Where Han gets to go the number by rotating, by uh, drifting around the car, the woman's car. And completely too boating. And it never worked. I tried my screw lots of times, but did you give me, did you give me this, this number right here? So that, that really doesn't look too well. <clears throat> also, there's a notion that aging people in general are to consume money besides this movie. Because the girl said, I wonder where he gets that kind of money. Which, by the way, I, 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 think I, see, I think I heard that, that voice somewhere before, in a game before. I, went, I wonder where he gets that kind of money. Because when the guy say diamonds, furs, shoes, they dig me because I'm the champ. Because we, we, we so cute, gee. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it does a rap song made by Japanese people. Which is a good, I wish that they had more of that kind of thing. You know, if you, if you hear Snoop Dogg, or I like all Snoopy, and uh, you know, Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls, and uh, among other people, you kind of, he kind of used to just like to make him rap music, you know, expand it up to be a little bit other people. Anyway, if you guys like what you see here and you want to see more of my videos and stuff, you know, we so can we like, comment. Share and subscribe to my channel. You can also reach my cell phone by contacting me by um, text or calling me at 631 And my, my, my Twitter is P Maelstrom Pro on Twitter or X if you prefer. My email is channel at gmail.com. Now, um, also featured in this little mini video is the, um, the, the more unrealistic. Um, Footage from the movie. Case in point, when 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 they when Lucas Black um drives the does the uh, drift turn around that a realistically long turn by the bridge. You know that that can't really happen like that. It's all it all looks like a simulation or a game or something. Like I could swear I played whenever I played. And whenever I played this game, I could swear that there's a uh, turning and it's like like that. In in the same car it all was. Anyway. I salute all you guys and girls out there in the land who like this movie and the song that goes with it.
die dan en 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 kudel de turkey boys making nails which by the way I didn't think of it the name the turkey boys are very um generic and very um it's can't tell the Japanese by just that name alone you need to get you need to get checked for mental illness because it's so obvious that they're trying to be so typical with Teriyaki Boy, the name of the band. And if the, and if the, and if the Teriyaki Boy, what about the girls? Shouldn't it be Teriyaki Boys and girls? The I told you guys. He taught my parents to do it. Oh yeah, and very importantly, I give this song my happy face seal of approval. Because it's wonderful. It's wonderful and cheesy. I wonder how, I wonder how you go, I wonder how long ago if you don't go to Tokyo. If you feel if you feel it, you mean then you have to go. To go you know, I I can't do the word justice, but you do a more high note thing you hear in, in a poor movie. And I love the women when they go into into their um it, the spiel in Japanese that, that just tickles my fancy. And so, aloha, peace out, and see you in the next one for, for Asian History Month for 2024.